Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing yet another Dota 2 hero. This time it's going to be the Venomancer. Scary. I'm uh, not particularly attracted to this guy. Not, not attracted, but attached. I'm definitely not attracted to him by any means. Uh, because I've only had negative experiences playing him. He seems very frail and he doesn't have any special tricks up his sleeve to escape uh, gangs and uh, be a bit more versatile. So yeah, not the biggest fan, but I enjoy the way he looks. Um, in the past, it used to be a Hydra, I think, back in Dota 1. I'm not entirely sure. I think that was the only model that resembled uh, what it is he is now. But uh, I like the way Valve designed them, so I decided to to draw him and put him on paper. So I'm just going to jump straight into the bio and uh, talk about the other stuff afterwards. So this is the Venomancer. In the acid jungles of Jiddy Isle, poison runs deep in the veins and bubbles in the guts of every creature that scuttles, climbs, or swoops between flores and vines dripping with caustic sap. Yet even in this toxic menagerie, Venomancer is acknowledged as the most venomous. Ages ago, a herbalist named LaSalle crossed the Bay of Fradi by Coracle, searching for potent essences that might be extracted from bark and root, and found instead a nightmare transformation. Two leagues into Jiddy's Isle, LaSalle encountered a reptile camouflaged as an epiphyte, which stung him as he mistakenly plucked it. In desperation, he used his partial knowledge of the jungle's herbal bounty, mixing the venom of the swiftly throttled reptile with the nectar of an armored orchid, to compound an antidote. In the moments before a black paralysis claimed him completely, he injected himself by orchid thorn and instantly fell into a coma. Seventeen years later, something stirred in the spot where, we had, where he had fallen, throwing off the year's accumulation of hummus, Venomancer. LaSalle the Herbalist no longer, but LaSalle the Deathbringer. His mind was all but erased and his flesh had been consumed and replaced by a new type of matter, one fusing the venom of the reptile with the poisonous integument of the orchid. Jiddy's acid jungles knew a new master, one before whom even the most vicious predators soon learned to bow or burrow for their lives. The lurid isle proved too confining and some human hunger deep in the heart of the Venomancer drove LaSalle out in search of new poisons and new deaths to bring. I really enjoy the way Valve writes these bios. I think they're really like captivating and sort of, uh, I don't know, just well written, I suppose. So yeah, anyway, the drawing took about two and a half hours, pretty short compared to most. Uh, and also considering he has a lot of armor and details on him, that's quite impressive if I do say so myself. But I guess having a designated drawing space, because I've moved from my desk to my uh, drawing table, uh, it kind of helps with that. Because there's fewer distractions and you just kind of want to get it over with and you're actually slightly more productive than sitting at a computer and getting like a Skype message and then starting a convo. And like 40 minutes later, you're you still haven't done shit, really. So it just uh, it's just better for me because I'm a procrastinator. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about was uh, the fact that I've received my bookbinding supplies, and if you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, I mentioned in a few videos a while back that I was going to take up bookbinding as a sort of a past hobby. So I got my tools, and they're all there. I was very surprised that the people at Customs didn't jack anything, because they have a habit of taking things that um, they can blame on, like, regulation later on. It's like, yeah, it's not allowed for you to import this, when it actually is very few people, very few things are actually banned. Um, it's only meat and something else, some like toxic chemicals of some type. So yeah, <clears throat> everything arrived. And once I stop being terrible at it, which is probably in the following days, I will post a video of the process. Thing is, I, I end up like browsing the weird part of YouTube and find things that I think are cool and want to do them because I'm extremely curious and it's annoying for me. Like it's, it's great when you want to find out something. I'm also very determined when something is instilled in me i need to go through with it i just can't give it up it's a very annoying trait and anyone that knows me well knows that i can't when i want something i need to have it like a spoiled little shit i just want to have that particular thing or do that particular thing so i'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a m lot of money on it do it like two or three times be successful at it and then just stop and do something else right now my next project in line is engraving leather what the fuck am I doing? I want to engrave leather, leather, but I just can't like get myself to not want to do that because it seems really cool, and it does have some practical uses. You know, creating like sheaths and stuff for knives and all that. It just seems fun to me right now. Bookbinding seems fun. I'm gonna make myself a notebook and then I'm not gonna ever touch them again. I just know that's how it's gonna go. But hey, it's, you gotta you know live all the experiences and go through with them see what it's like and see if it's something that can be sustained long term so yeah gonna be posting a video of that so 
um, it's not going to become a regular thing or anything. Like, it's not going to become a series. I'm just going to, you know, do a thing or two and post videos of it and show people what it's about because, you know, some people actually don't get to the same part of YouTube that I get to and then they don't know that these things exist. So, you know, it might be interesting for some. Pretty sure it won't be interesting for a lot of people, but hey, what you gonna do? It, the channel's called Zook Does Stuff, so when I do stuff and film myself doing it, it only makes sense to post, post the video of it. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Please rate that shit if you enjoyed it, and I will see you around in the following days. I'm gonna try and put out a video every day for the next two or three days, because I need to stop slacking. And also for the people that are still waiting for commissions from me, um... I've, I have you all in a list, so, you know, I, sometimes I get mails from people like, you know, I saw you posting drawing videos, but you didn't post uh, the thing I hired you for. Well, the fact is that a lot of the stuff that I get paid for requires a lot of thought. I can't just rush into it like a retard. If I fuck up one of these drawings, it's no big deal. If I fuck up a drawing that I'm getting paid for and I have to do it all over again, and it's something complex, then it is a big deal because I just wasted half a day on something that I can't use. So... I prefer to do these when I'm in a rush to put out a video and uh, take my time and think about uh, whatever else I'm about to do that I get paid for and it only makes sense and it's the right thing to do. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go now. Please rate that shit and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.